up there right now. This time in time. Look at the height and elevation. On paper, it looked great. And in reality, even better. And, and this match right here, you talk about matchups on paper looking incredible. Oh, my goodness. I've been waiting for this match ever since it was announced on GCW social media. And uh, much like every other match we've seen here this evening at the UCC, I'm sure this one is not going to fail to uh, exceed your expectations. Greco Roman knuckle lock as their fingers are interlaced here, just fighting for the advantage. It's Leo Rush grabbing the waist lock, but Commander getting a switch. Changing the advantage. Single handed knuckle lock now. Both these, wrestlers being a little cautious. And these two wrestlers, two of the more uh, exciting wrestlers on the entire planet right now. And Commander's but, already walking to the top, or at least the second row. Now he's going all the way up. Top floor! He wants to fight up there. Well, he's at home on the ropes, is Comendo. Just walk in the top rope with ease. Leo Rush looks uh, impressed. I'm very impressed. I don't know is if he... you can read lips, but Leo Rush is saying, uh, I can do that. Prove it. Well, Leo Rush going to show his agility as well. All the way to the top. I don't know if Leo Rush has ever done this before. He seemed pretty confident. Decides against it. He'll wait for the right time to pull it out. Got to wonder what uh, Jenna Frank in the corner of Leo Rush will mean to this matchup. Obviously a little bit of uh, support at ringside. Oh, this is classic Leo Rush. You can't get a hold of him. It's just too quick. Keeps changing direction. He's trying to disorient his opponent by hitting the ropes in that fashion. And uh, it's not exactly respectful. Salute, Commander. Yeah, I'd say not, not uh, not at all. Fighting for the advantage once again. Commander able to toss Leo down to the mat. We're going to tie him up with the arm trapped. Now where Commander is just climbing on top of Leo Rush. He's balancing across his back, holding one arm in like a hammerlock position while pulling up on the other. He's charging at Leo, moves out of the way, Commander to the apron. And Leo able to connect with that capo kick, knocking him to the floor. Leo Rush, known to fly from the ring to the outside. Likes to utilize that low pit. No, baseball slide, nobody home. Commander grabs hold of Leo, fighting for the advantage here on the floor as Commander swings through and connects with the kick. Okay. It's the ropes. Commander with a tope suicida. Sends Leo into row two. Got a packed house here at the UCC. It will be even more packed six weeks from now for the collective. A full schedule available on all of the GCW social media. And Whoa, wait, wait a second. And I don't know if uh, this is the first time that Jenna Frank has been at ringside during a wrestling match. She needs to stay out of the action. Took the attention of Commander right there, and that gave Leo the opportunity to hit the low pay. Yeah, uh, first, Commander sent Leo into the second row. That time, I think Leo sent Commander into the third or fourth. I think that was on purpose. They might have talked a little strategy. Serve as a little bit of a distraction. Now pulling Leo to the floor. A little bit of a conversation, some advice. Given from Jenna Frank at ringside for Leo Rush. I wonder what she what she saw that, that we haven't or that, that Leo Rush hasn't realized. Just measured commander for that kick to the chest, a sickening thud as it connected. Wow, what a kick. What a kick. 
still to come. Blake Christian to take on Willie Mack, plus your main event, Speedball Mike Bailey to challenge Nick Gage for the World Championship. But right now, Leo Rush still pounding away at Commander in the corner. Yeah, speaking of kicks, we might see uh, Speedball kick his way to becoming the new GCW World Champion. Leo Rush trying to whip Commander across the ring, wrapped his arm around the top rope to prevent it from happening. Commander with a series of forearms now. Backing Leo to the middle of the ring. With the ropes comes Commander. Across the back, lands on his feet. And Leo Rush also lands on his feet. Oh. Lightning quick with these strikes. Takes Commander down. Leo Rush looking great here. Leo Rush able to fit in about five or six strikes in a fraction of, of the time. It should take to throw that many strikes. <laughs> And now going to the top rope, Leo Rush. Has his balance. Commander rolling all the way to the other side of the ring. A little bit too much distance to clear. Realized that Leo was climbing up top and Commander just moved himself to that side of the ring. Yeah, I mean, Leo Rush, he's a hell of an athlete, but I don't think he can clear corner to corner like that. Commander did the wise thing. Yeah, smart wrestling on Commander's part as he drives Leo into the corner. And just shoulder into the midsection of Rush. The Commander chant goes up with the UCC. Chopping away at the chest. Commander is going to send Leo Rush. In. No, Leo is going to reverse it. Running clothesline in the corner sends Commander into the ropes. He takes his head off with that clothesline. A lot of power behind that one. Leo gets a two count. Commander able to kick out. Stay in this matchup. Leo Rush is among the wrestlers already announced for uh, both emo fight as well as for the culture as part of the collective. And Leo has Commander in his sights. And co gonna bring him down. No, he's... Yes, he can nail it. Belly to back suplex from Rush. In addition to Leo Rush for the culture, which will be March 30th at the 11.59 p.m. slot. Already announced Brian Keith versus Two Cold Scorpio. Big match. Plus Myron Reed as well as Kevin Knight makes his GCW debut. Love it. Love it. It's the best time of the year, collective. Leo just ran into that kick from Commander. Boot to the midsection by Leo, though. Rush looking to shoot him off, reversal of the whip. Leo off the ropes, so does Commander. Wow. That handspring into the Tijetas. Takes Leo Rush over into the corner. And Commander is poised. He's, looks like he's ready to make a move here, Dave. Charging across the ring, leaping forearm in the corner from Commander. And Commander. Looks like he's going to send Leo Rush into the other side. No, Leo Rush always has the answer for the Irish whip, it seems like. Bullseye in the corner, tried to send him to the floor, but Commander reversing direction left and what right the? himself into a DDT on Leo Rush. Commander goes for the cover. Near leg hook, both legs hooked, and Leo able to kick out of two. Commander's just so quick, so agile, so nimble. And he was able to get in position for that DDT. Speaking of getting into position, it looks like Leo Rush is not in a position he would like to be against Commander. Yeah, still on his back as Commander's now standing on the top rope. Perhaps going to walk the top rope. And then what? Oh, he landed on his feet. He saw that Leo was moving out of the way. Kick from Leo Rush across the back of Commander right there. You know, we've seen Commander hit that rope walk into the, uh, the, the, the Phoenix, Phoenix Flash. Flash. Yeah. And Leo Rush obviously realized that in the past, was able to move out of the way. 
but couldn't avoid the tilt world backbreaker right across the knee. And now, going up on across the shoulders. And now what's Commander going to do with Leo Rush here out of this position? Oh, God! Commander's going to get dropped on his head instead. Great counter from Leo Rush. And back out to the apron, Leo goes. Climbing back up top. Leo's got a lot of weapons from the top, but this one, the frog splash. Nothing but knees to the midsection of Rush. That's one of Leo Rush's favorite moves, that leaping frog splash off the top, but it seems like both men have done their homework. Both men have studied the tapes of one another, or perhaps just logged on the Fight Plus. <laughs> probably the Fight Plus, probably the streaming thing here in 2023. I still watch a lot of tapes, though. Me too. Leo trying to pull himself up. Same can be said for Commander as the fans get behind these two athletes. Commander swings first but gets caught. Leo, that drop suplex, can't score with it. Oh, oh what a spin kick from oh. Rush. Talk about scoring with something. That kick came up flush. And a huge spear from Leo Rush. Cover. Oh, so very close. But Commander with the shoulder up at two and three quarters. That's about as close as you can come without getting a winner. Leo contemplating his next move here. Commander feeling it. But Leo's back on his feet. Commander just trying to grab hold of Leo Rush as he tried to hit the ropes. Commander grabbed the ankle of Leo Rush. Good move there by Commander. He's Commander, not, leg. yeah, he's not letting go. Oh, ducked that kick attempt by Leo. He's able to score with that one on Commander. That double up kick. Now bouncing off that bottom rope. Trying to go for the stunner, but blocked by Commander. Has hold of Rush's arm. Fighting for the pin attempt here as they roll. Commander's got Leo down. Oh, very close again, but only two. Trying to stack Leo Rush up. Again, a near fall. Getting out of the arm of Leo Rush right now. Commander could be going back into that submission hold once again that we saw earlier. Perhaps. Yeah, it looks exactly like what Commander's got in mind here. Trying to trap the one arm in like a hammerlock position and pull up on the other. He's, if he can lock it in, it's right in the middle of the ring, balancing on the back oh. of Leo and snapping back with it. Into a backbreaker. What a move there by Commander. Did a whole lot of damage to not only the back, but also the arm of Leo right there. And once again, Commander to the top rope. Leo Rush out on the floor. And Commander looks to walk the top rope once again. Commander walks the top rope. Spring and dives into the splash. Twisting in midair. Wipes out Leo Rush. Commander brings it back inside now. Salute. Use that hashtag GCW night. Give him your salutes. Looking to put Leo Rush away. Back up on the shoulders. We saw this before. All into a gut buster. And now Commander up to the second and back up top. Leo on his back. Could be another rope walk situation for Commander right now. This time into a shooting star, but nobody home. Leo Rush now on the apron. Going to step on through. On the bottom rope into the stunner. But Leo's not done. He's going to hit another. Yes, he is. Just trying to wear out Commander. Leo back up. Could be looking for that frog splash again. Commander got the knees up last time. Look at the height and elevation. The impact. He had set cover. And Leo Rush scores the pitfall. An incredible matchup between two of the very best. The winner of the match, Leo Rush.